This is a demonstration how to install the print drivers for the Gravograph M20, M40 machines using Graver Style 6. This is the program. And where we're going to install this, we have to go to our C drive. And we have to go to the Graver Style 6 software, which is here. We're going to select the driver, and for the M20 machines, the M40 machines, we're going to click the GT SmartStream 3.02. Our next page will give us all of the other programs, and we're going to select Setup. And we're going to double-click on Setup. It's going to ask us what the communication port is. And we are going to select the USB. And we hit next. It's asking us to switch off the machine. At this point, I will switch off the machine. And it's going to load the correct driver. It says deleting the current driver. So if there are any drivers that are in the system, they will be deleted and it will install the correct drivers. Okay, it's giving us the thing that Microsoft says it's not. Uh, testing to verify its compatibility with XP. Yes, we know that. Continue anyway. Connect the machine to the port and switch it on. And from there we switch it on. Gives us a couple of beeps. And the firmware is now going to update. That will take a couple of seconds, maybe a minute. This model here is the M20 Jewel. This machine will do inside and outside of rings, flats, will do pens. It also has an optional tail stock that you can put on there for round objects. So if you want to put a small shot glass in there, everything else round in nature, it will also engrave it. It also has the capability of rotary engraving, so you can engrave leather, you can engrave plastics, wood. Oh, the machine is beeping, and that's telling us that the firmware has been installed. And we're just going to wait for us to finish up the firmware update. And we are done. Now, once we've installed the firmware, we have to install the print driver itself. So we go to Start, Printers and Faxes, Add a Printer, Next, Add a Print Wizard, we're going to go Next again, just a local printer attached to this computer. We're going to select USB 1, Next. We're going to ask for the disk. We're going to put in that we have a disk. You can see everything's in here already. This is because I put multiple machines and multiple drivers. But for, you, for the general person, you're going to click Have Disk. We are then going to click Browse. And we're going to select the C drive. And we're going to collect, select Graver Style 6. From here, we will select driver, and we will select the GT SmartStream 3.02. And on the bottom of the list, it will say GT SmartStream. We will select GT SmartStream, and we will hit OK. And we will hit Next. The printer name, GT SmartStream, Next. Do you want to print a pa test page? No. Next. And then it's going to complete the Add Print software. And we're going to click Finish. And it's going to tell us that it's um, the software installed for this driver. Has not passed the window logo testing. Forget it. Just hit Continue Anyways. One of those wonderful Microsoft disasters. All right, so it's installing the driver. Now with these machines, you also have to remember you have to install the software dongle. 
the software dongle looks like this. There it is right there. The software dongle is in the green box where the software was. This software CD was located. And that has to be plugged in once you have the program installed. And you can see we have our GT Smart Stream is installed. So once that's done, we'll just click X. And then we'll come down to our program. Now to install the printer, or the engraving machine I should say, we're going to click engrave. And we're going to click configure machine. Once we click configure machine, we're going to add a machine. And this machine is a graver graph. And we're going to collect, select the M20 Joule IQ, because this is the newest machine that we're adding. You have to know which machine it is, or it will not load. If you're not sure which machine it is, call Graver Graph, provide the serial number, and they will tell you which one you have. Now we have Add in Windows, List of Installed Drivers. There's your GT Smart Stream. You're going to highlight it. It's automatically going to highlight the Use Windows Spooler. You're going to click check mark, and then it brings up this dialog box, which is just telling you the parameters of what the machine is. So everything's in there. There's really nothing here that you have to change. And we're going to click OK. And then close. OK. And the next thing is, if, do you want to set the machine size as default material dimensions? You're going to hit Yes for now. And it's going to change it to the engraving size that we have. And you're ready to engrave at that point. So if we, oh, empty. So if we type something in here, go to our engraving page. And what it's doing now is it's updating the firmware. Just another firmware update. It'll be done shortly. 100% done.